Matimbo with the ball. Oh my! They pass like professionals. One, two, one, two, uh, and, and goal! Matimbo FC scores their second goal. Matimbo two, Coco Tua one. Will Coco Tua make a comeback? What did I tell you, Kova? You see, we have destroyed you. Has the match ended? Oh, it's raining here. Everyone is running around to find cover. Captains from both teams, please come here. As you can see, we can't continue playing in this rain. So I'm postponing the match and we'll find another day to play again. All right? Yes. And you, Koba? It's all right. The whistle has blown and the referee has postponed the match. Guys, we've won. But, but, you've won? How? Koba, Matimbo is too so strong for Kokotoa. You better find something else to do, like be our fan. <laughs> but the match was not over, it was postponed. How come you call yourself winners? Tell that to the scoreboard. <laughs> How long do you need to tie your shoelaces? I'm done. Mom, we're leaving. Okay, bye. Baraka, we must win today. I feel like the weather is changing, Koba. Yeah, I see. It seems like it's about to rain. It's raining. Let's go inside. Let's go, Baraka. I don't even know where this rain came from. We plan to play our rematch with Matimbo FC today. What are we going to do? Maybe we can pick another day to play, Koba. And what if it rains on that day too? We can pick another day. Are you trying to help or are you just feeling good saying another day? I'm trying to help, Koba. Or maybe we should keep quiet for a moment and think about it, right? You know, Koba, if we could predict the weather, it would be so much easier to plan which day to play. Predicting the weather? Yeah, good idea. Come, I have something to show you. In school, we were taught about measuring the weather. All these pictures you see in this book are pictures of instruments used to measure the weather. There is a rain gauge, a windsock, a thermometer, a barometer, and more and more. Are you saying we can predict the weather by using these instruments? I'm not sure. But I remember Miss Simlea said these tools could be used to predict the weather. Okay, then bring them so we can try. Um, I don't know how to use them, but also, I don't have any of those tools. You don't know how to use them? Didn't you say you were taught in school? We were not taught how to use them. Koba, you were not taught how to use them or you just forgot? Ah, uh, forget about it. Coming. Kibena? It's raining. How did you manage to come? Wow. Don't tell me I'm holding an invisible umbrella. Ah, okay. Hi, Baraka. Hi, Kibena. Is your mother home? Grandma sent me to bring these tomatoes. Okay. Why you all look like that? Is there a problem? Yes, Kibena. Do you know anything about weather prediction? Not a lot, but I know Mzekigo knows so much about it. But try me. Maybe I can help. Every time we plan to go play a match with Matimbo FC, it rains. I remember that Miss Mlea taught us about weather measuring equipment. But Koba has forgotten how to use them. He forgot? Hmm. In all that head of yours. Head what? How could you forget that easily, Koba? Do you mean my head is big? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. And you're laughing at me? I guess your purpose in life is to walk around with tomatoes all day. What? Insulting and laughing at people. I was joking, and you're insulting me? Fine. Here's your mother's tomatoes. Bye. Kibena, no! Don't leave! Let her leave. But she's our friend. She's all yours now. And also, she was supposed to help us, Koba. We have him, Zekigo. And he knows a lot about the weather. Don't worry. Without Kibena telling you all that, how could you know? Don't worry. Let's go see him, Zekigo. Zekigo. Koba, Baraka, welcome. Thank you. Isn't that a thermometer, Mzekigo? Wow, you know it? Yes. It is a tool used to measure temperature. What do you want to measure, Mzekigo? I want to measure the temperature of the soil, Baraka. The temperature of the soil? Yes, Koba. As you said, 
A thermometer is a tool used to measure the temperature. It can measure the temperature of the human body, the temperature of the atmosphere, the temperature of the soil like this, and more. You see, I stick the thermometer into the soil like this. And after a short while, this red line will rise and stop at a certain number like this. And that will be the temperature of the soil you have measured. Baraka, can you read here? It shows the temperature is 18. Very good, Baraka. But temperature is measured in units called Celsius or centigrade. So you could say 18 degrees Celsius or 18 degrees centigrade instead of just saying 18. Got it? Yes. And why are you measuring the temperature of the soil, Mzee Kigo? I'm measuring the temperature of the soil because the crop that I want to grow is recommended to be grown in the soil at a certain temperature. Now, let me record in my notebook the temperature that we got here and then we can move to another weather measuring equipment. Okay, now let's go. Kids, this is a windsock. A windsock is a tool used to measure the wind. It helps to know the direction of the wind, but also to estimate the speed of the wind. Mzee Kigo, why doesn't the windsock have a place to show the number like a thermometer? It's just a large piece of orange and white fabric attached to a pole. So how does it measure? That's a good question. As you can see, the windsock is not blowing right now, which means there is no wind. But when the wind blows, the windsock will blow in the direction of the wind. If the wind is not too strong, the windsock will blow lightly. But if the wind is strong, the windsock will blow hard. And why are you measuring the wind in your farm, Zekigo? Farming is all about planning, Koba. I measure the wind to determine the best time to plant seeds so they don't get blown away by the wind. Because I am currently planting crops that have seeds that are not meant to be buried in the ground. Oh, okay. But also, a windsock can be used in other different areas, such as airports. And it is used to help to determine the wind direction and speed during takeoff and landing. In construction sites, especially tall building construction sites, and it helps engineers to determine the direction and speed of the wind for safety purposes. It is also used in seaports, industrial sites, stadiums, and a lot of other places. Wow! I didn't know windsock was this important. It is, Koba. In fact, all weather measuring tools are so important because our lives and everything that we do depends so much on weather. Zekigo, look! The wind blows the windsock. <laughs> wow, so cool! Yeah, okay. Now let's go to where I left my rain gauge. Can I guess? Rain gauge is a tool for measuring the rain. <laughs> wow, you are good at guessing, Barak. Kids, this is a rain gauge. Are you using it to predict the rain? Its data can be used for weather forecasting, but I'm not using it for that. As Baraka said, the rain gauge is a tool that's used to measure how much rain falls from the sky in a certain place and time. So I'm using the rain gauge here in my farm to know the amount of rain that has fallen on my tomatoes. This helps me when I come to water them later. I will know how much to water them so that I don't water them too much or too little. Wow! Can you read the amount of rain that has fallen till now? How do you read it, Mzekigo? Just use your ubongo. 45 millimeters. Good, Baraka. Koba, do you know where your brother got those millimeters? Uh, no. Don't worry, I'll show you. A rain gauge is composed of three important parts. A container, a funnel, and graduate markings. The container is the lower part that stores water. The funnel is placed on top of the container and for collecting and directing the rainwater into the container. The graduate markings are the numbers marked on the container, used to determine the amount of rainfall, and it shows in millimeters or inches. Uh huh, that's why Koba said 45 millimeters. Yes, Baraka, you are right. Let me show you how to set it. You take your rain gauge and you place it in an open area without trees, 
buildings, or anything that blocks water from entering directly into the rain gauge. Then, you will be reading the amount of rainwater that enters your rain gauge and recording your data for the time you have planned. It could be for hours, days, and so on. And not only that, rain gauge can be used in construction sites, researching, and weather, and its data can be used for weather forecasting. Thank you so much, Mze Kigo. I've learned so much about weather measuring that I wish I could be friends with the sun, rain, and all weather conditions and tell them that I'm a weather measuring expert now. <laughs> Temperature with the thermometer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Friend, my friend, rain. Tell our friend, wind. That now, now I know. We measure wind with the wind sock. Tell you that now, now I know we measure it with the rain gauge. We measure temperature by using thermometer. We measure wind by using wind sock. We measure rain by using rain gauge. Thank you, Mzekigo, for teaching us how to use these tools. But can you teach us how to use a rain gauge to predict the rain? Because we want to play a rematch with Matimbo FC, but every time we plan to meet, it rains. So if you teach us how to predict rain using a rain gauge, we will know when it is not raining, and it will be easier to plan. Oh ho, kids! Rain gauge and all the other equipment you saw today can be used in weather forecasting, but not as quickly as you might think. These tools are used to collect data over a long period of time. And that data can be used by weather stations for weather forecasting. Ugh, did you hear that, Koba? We can't play this match because we can't find a way to know when it's not going to rain. I didn't say that, Baraka. You can definitely find a way to do that. Really? How? Tell us about it, Mzekigo. There are many ways. But two quick ways are to follow weather forecasting information on TV or radio or internet. Or you can visit a weather station. Uh-huh. Koba, it's fun that with all these heads of ours, we couldn't think of weather forecasts on the radio. <laughs> Wait, Kibena said the same thing. Why did you get angry when she said it? And laughed when I said it? Maybe I was angry. Yes, you were, Koba. I need to apologize to Kibena. You should go right now, Koba. Okay, Mzekigo. Bye. Let's go, Baraka. Kibena, open the door. Koba came to apologize. Kibena, I've come to apologize, my friend. I've realized that friends aren't meant to talk to each other like that. I'm sorry. And by the way, the idea that you gave me to go to ask Mzekigo about weather measuring instruments has been so helpful. Kibena, why are you looking at me like that? I've come to apologize as a good friend, but you don't seem to care. Ah, let's go, Baraka. The Tomato Queen doesn't care about the apology. What are you saying? Are you pushing me, Kibena? Guys, stop fighting! Yes, you deserve to be pushed. You can't just show up to my house and start calling me names. Come on, guys. Now I'm standing here. 
If any of you feels like you really want to push someone, you should start with me. Step aside, Baraka. I'm not. I can't let you keep fighting. You're good friends. You go to school together every day. You study in the same class. You play together. And you've helped each other in a lot of things. And that's what true friendship is all about. Is fighting better than all that? But you Kobe better start the guys, fight. Your friendship is more important than being right or winning the fight. Koba, I'm sorry for pushing you and any bad words I said to you. But also, I'm learning to check the temperature of someone's mood as well before making a joke. I should not have made the joke that day. I'm sorry, Kibena. It was so mean and unfair of me to take all my anger out on you when all you were trying to do was help. I forgive you, Koba. And I forgive you, friend. You know what, Baraka? You're a very good peacemaker. It's great to have someone like you in our group. And peacemaking is Uto. Fighting is not good, but it happens. Friends turning into enemies. It can happen. You used to play together, go to school together, loved each other like twins. Now the friendship is all gone. You need someone like Baraka, someone to reconcile you. You need someone like Baraka, someone to reconcile you. Peacemaker. Peacemaker, you need a peacemaker, 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 you need a peacemaker, 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 you need a peacemaker, 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 you need a peacemaker. It's not necessary for the peacemaker to be someone else. You and your friend who fought can be the peacemaker of your own conflict. Because friendship is better than either of you. Peacemaker, peacemaker, you need a peacemaker, 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 you need a peacemaker, 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 you need a Peacemaker, 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 you need a peacemaker. Kokotoa are in their best form today. The scoreboard says 3 1 at the moment. Now, Koba with the ball. The third. And, and goal! Koba scores the first goal for his team. Big win for Kokotoa. 4-1. Oh my. The game is over. Kokotoa players and their supporters are having a good time here. They are so happy. And now I see Koba is talking to Matimbua's captain. Hey. You're welcome to be a Kokotoa fan. The referee was on your side today. Tell that to the scoreboard. <laughs>